As you guys see by the title, today I'm doing the 24 hour challenge of using Poundland products only. Wait, what the fuck? Hi guys, I'm Chandler Alexis and welcome back to my channel. I'm so focused on me brushing my teeth that I don't even really want to... <laughs> don't even really want to talk, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. Basically how this is gonna work is I went to Poundland and I got a bunch of products if you guys don't know what poundland is by the way my american viewers poundland is the uk version of like the dollar store i'm gonna be using all those products today and you guys all know dollar store shit just doesn't it's not good it's, it's known for not being good it's known for being cheap <laughs> and not being good and not working and breaking easily and all that stuff but i thought i'd try it for today first i want to show you guys all the items i got here's my little poundland baggie for lunch today ah! i'm having uncle ben's rice and curry guys it's literally like the rice here the curry sauce i don't know how i feel about this i feel like i'm gonna get really <laughs> hello Just, um, the guy comes, wait, hold on. i'm trying to film a video i got frosty's cereal bar and this is basically what i'm having for breakfast I'm so nervous about this one. Guys, I got flurries. I don't know what the fuck a flurry is, but it looks like a freaking knockoff of a Twinkie. So I'm so scared about this. I feel like it's gonna be so disgusting. We got razors. We got the toothbrush. I need this badly. <laughs> I got this pan. This pan literally costs one pound and it literally feels like it costs one pound. It's cheap as fuck. We got a bath fizzer. I was looking for some sort of entertainment that I could have throughout the day, like a toy. <laughs> the only thing I could find was this a stress off stress boob not really sure what that means but we'll find out later i guess as you guys know i like to listen through to music throughout the day and usually i use my airpods but today we are going for the feel the rhythm headphones <laughs> these look like the headphones they give you on a fucking airplane what is this <laughs> next i got a hairbrush later to do my hair hopefully this doesn't make me go bald some shower cream we're gonna see if this like dries out my skin we got shampoo and conditioner and then the last thing that i got which we're gonna wait till the end of the video to use is a pregnancy test is that upside down that's upside down a pregnancy test from poundland i don't promote unprotected sex you guys have safe sex use protection don't be like me okay yeah let's go brush my teeth <laughs> i feel like i should take a shower right now as well i'm gonna take a shower later tonight as well i think i'm gonna take a bath so i can use the bath fizzer and shave my legs but i think for right now i'm gonna wash my hair and like shower use a shower gel all right i'm gonna start brushing my teeth this is an Oral-B toothbrush, which isn't bad. I think that's actually like a really good brand to use is Oral-B. So, not too worried about that. Mm. Okay, I would say I wouldn't recommend this for like a daily use because it does, it's really soft. It's like too soft to be brushing my teeth. Usually I use my Calibri Aura toothbrush, which is electric, and it like brushes your teeth in circles. But this is just, mm. I mean, it'll have to do for today. When it comes to brushing my tongue, it did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. All right, time to take a shower. I'm kind of scared because um, my hair has been damaged a lot lately, and recently I've been trying to repair it, and it's been going in a great direction. So I feel like using the Poundland shampoo and conditioner is going to set me back a little bit, but. I guess we'll find out. All right, first I'm gonna uh, wash my latte. <laughs> Ooh, smells good. What scent is this? Oh, it's coconut. It smells nice. Ooh, it's sudsy. <laughs> Hopefully that's a little bit more clear. Oh, nope, it's getting fogged up again, guys. This smells good. Oh my goodness. It gets sudsy. Oh my gosh, this might actually be really good for my hair. My hair looks shiny. 
mean, what does it say it'll do? I didn't even read it. It's supposed to hydrate my hair. It kind of feels stringy though. All right, I'm gonna condition it now. So I didn't really vlog myself, um, not didn't really, I didn't vlog myself washing out the conditioner, but I washed out the conditioner now and I'm gonna actually use the Poundland brush that I got to brush out my hair, which is so bad. You're supposed to use a detangling comb my poor hair also i forgot to mention that i also got this little guy from poundland this is a dove travel pack deodorant it's a roll-on i hate roll-on deodorants because they just don't work so i'm already like i already know i already know this ain't gonna make me smell good for the whole day Ew, it feels wet too mm -mm. i prefer sprays or powders this is just Who's gonna, who likes feeling sticky and wet underneath their armpits? It's just not, I feel like I'm already sweating. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Ow! I can hear the breakage. This is actually hurting my head and I'm not tender headed, so, ow. That says a lot. If the shampoo and conditioner didn't make me go bald, this brush is definitely gonna do the, the, do the job. I can't be bothered to comb my hair out anymore with that brush because it's literally just gonna damage my hair so bad. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, like at the point of coming out that it is at. I will say the conditioner actually did make my hair feel a little bit more healthier. The shampoo, mm -mm, I'll pass on that. But the conditioner, made, like my hair feels soft and like actually moisturized for once. I will honestly say that I think the shampoo is a thumbs down, but the conditioner is a thumbs up. And I actually think I prefer that conditioner over my usual conditioner. As for this hell of a brush, mm -mm. and this this guy, this deodorant. Now I'm gonna do my makeup, and once again, thank you, Lord. The Poundland that I went to didn't have any like makeup stuff. Like they didn't have a makeup section where I could pick out like stuff to do my makeup. So. I'm gonna do my normal makeup routine. Thank goodness. I finished my makeup and I thought before I put lotion on, I would wait until I was done with my makeup to put lotion on to see if the body wash dried out my skin. And just like I thought it did. Wait, let me see if I can show you guys a good detailed. And like the rest of my body feels that way as well. I feel so dry. There you go, see all the cracks on my hands. So it looks like I'm gonna have to give the body wash a thumbs down. I don't think I'll be ever using it again just because it really made me feel dry and disgusting. It's time for breakfast. Let's go ahead and try one of these. I'm not excited for this at all. My stomach's growling, so hopefully this doesn't taste disgusting and make me wanna throw up. Oh my God, it has milk in it. I thought it was gonna be like mixed into the cereal, but it's like literally like milk on one side, cereal. You hear my stomach? Cereal on the other. We're just gonna close that back up. Thumbs down. This tastes like something I would give like a toddler that's like vegan or something. Obviously not because it has milk, but still like that's how it tastes. It tastes like vegan food, like flavorless and no it has a flavor it's nasty that's what the flavor is that's called nasty all right guys so it's now time for me to go meet up with my friends i think it's time to test my headphones for the day oh my i'm so upset that i won't be able to use my airpods today oh my god i'm gonna be so embarrassed oh my god these are the ones that if you pull them they start to separate the further down you want them to. oh my god this is so embarrassing they don't even fit around my head Guys, they don't even fit around my head. My head is too big for these headphones. L l can you guys see this? Wait, they don't even fit on my ears. Time to find out they work. They work. <laughs> I was hoping they didn't work so I wouldn't have to use these. Guys, I look so stupid. Ugh. Do I look happy at all? This is a face of someone who looks embarrassed. I'm really wearing these headphones that don't fit my ears to listen to music because I want to listen to my music so bad. But it's so embarrassing. It doesn't even fit around my ears. I don't like this challenge. I got embarrassed wearing the headphones, so I guess I'm just not listening to music today. On rating those headphones though, you know what? I'll give it like a middle thumb because you can hear the music. 
but they just don't fit on my ears or my head. I got a big <laughs> head, so maybe if you have like a normal size head, they'd be perfect for you, but not for me. Time for snack, snack time. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right it, it looks black. This is meant to be brown, it looks black. Mm. Not that bad. Oh, that's nasty. That tastes like a brownie after you leave it out for like three days. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's better than I expected. You're a different type of breed. That's what's going on here. I give it thumbs down, but you guys know I don't like chocolate, so that's number one. Like, I don't know why I even got this. Well, actually, I do. They didn't have any options of snacks, but that's a thumbs down. <laughs> I am back home. I've been home for like maybe 30 minutes. I'm just laying down and I'm like, what's that smell? And I'm like, my armpits smell weird. They don't stink. Like they're not like, ew, disgusting. But they smell like a weird scent. I don't even know how to explain it. Basically, it, it smells like that deodorant like burned. And that makes sense. Like, like the deodorant I put on, it smells like it just burned under my armpits. So this is the stress off stress boob. It says crush me, squash me, squeeze me, poke me. Just sounds weird. It's already like damaged. Like someone damaged the packaging. No, oh, it smells weird. It smells weird. It's just a stress ball that looks like a nipple. That's it. <laughs> That's it. This is my entertainment for the day. Oh my god, it's a nip slip. I don't really know what to do. This is just a stress ball. So when I'm mad, I'm just gonna sit here and be like Well, guess what after buying all this stupid irrelevant shit that I don't need I'm mad <laughs> This doesn't calm me down. I don't know how people actually use these to calm down My tub is filled and I got the bath Is there aka the bath bomb? Let's see. Let's just try it Oh <gasps> Yes, bitch, yes, okay. Let's just hope this glitter doesn't stick to me when I get out the tub though. I'm not really sure how I feel, feel about this bath bomb. It left a ring around my tub. I mean, it is really sparkly and pretty. Not sure if that's catching on camera, but this is just annoying. My other bath bombs don't do this. Anyways, I'm gonna shave my legs now. I'm gonna show you guys what my legs look like. Boom, bada, boom, do y'all see that? The freaking bath bombs on my leg. Okay, it's kind of hairy, but it's not too bad. But I'm gonna use those razors I got and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see it's plastic, right? So here's the result of me using that bath bomb in the tub tonight. It was all around the tub, but I cleaned most of it off. I just wanted to show like you guys what it looked like. So I decided to like keep this part on here. That's terrible. As for the razor, here is my leg. My legs look super, super soft, and it actually didn't cut me once. So, with that being said, I'm gonna give the razor a thumbs up. As for the bath bomb, I'm gonna give it a thumbs down because it literally just like, there's glitter still all over me. You guys won't be able to see. Excuse my sock. <laughs> there's just glitter all over me still, and it left a ring around my tub. Now I have to clean that, which is just, you guys know I'm lazy and that's just extra shit I have to do because of that bath bomb. So I'm gonna say the bath bomb was a fail. It doesn't smell too bad. It actually kind of smells good. Okay, we both put them in there. Okay. So we got our rice. And we got the sauce. So now we're supposed to just pour it. Ugh, it's hot. How much am I supposed to pour all of it? Moment of truth, it's time to try it. Oh my gosh. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad, but I'm gonna stop eating it because I feel like I will get some. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of space. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm gonna just stop eating this just cause again, like when it comes to the health and stuff, I don't really trust myself eating this. But if I were to go to a doctor and they were gonna say it was okay to eat and it's not that bad for you, I would probably eat this. It doesn't taste bad. It is a little mushy, but I think just cause I added too much sauce. I don't know why anyone would add the rest of the sauce in there cause it's just unnecessary. But for the fact that I can eat it and it actually doesn't taste bad, the only reason I'm worried is just about getting sick because of how long it lasts for. I'm gonna give this 
a thumbs up on that note there's nothing much else that i'm going to be trying tonight so i will see you guys in the morning when i wake up for breakfast <laughs> good morning guys it's the next morning time for me to finish up this 24 hour challenge so to start off i am going to go make myself some breakfast so i washed the pan because i don't really trust it to be clean now i'm gonna make some eggs however guys i'm so scared i'm nervous i'm scared because i feel like this pan is really gonna burn to flame oh my god it's, the pan is smoking like i thought guys this pan is burning oh my goodness wait can you guys see it's burning oh i can't even crack the egg on this pan Okay, yeah, no, that didn't work at all. That totally, no. There's literally no point in me wasting another egg on this pan because literally, the pan is burning my eggs. Already, like I just put them on. There's butter in the pan and everything and it's burning my eggs. This is a fail. If you guys could smell the scent in here, this pan smells like a bonfire. Now it's time to go take this Poundland pregnancy test which no matter what it says i feel like it can't be trusted because it's from poundland <laughs> but um yeah i'm ready to go take the test because i need to use the bathroom i'm like not nervous but like i feel like that's when you should be nervous is when you're not nervous but like uh, i don't know <sighs> i'm not gonna record myself peeing i feel like it's a little tmi but i'll get back to you guys once it's time for the results the test is right Dun, dun, dun. Let's come back in five minutes. Set an alarm for five minutes. Dun, dun, dun. Guys, my alarm just went off. It's 11.50, so that means it's time to go check the test. Looking into the bathroom. The test is right there. A part of me does want to look. Oh my gosh, I'm actually nervous. Why am I nervous? Why am I nervous? 